Hey, what's up, everybody? You made it to Fired Up Friday on the JV Impacts podcast. I am Coach JV, your top health and mindset coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart? You think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. I want to thank you so much for following us on the podcast, Lips and Stitcher, iTunes, Sonos, uh, wherever you consume your podcast. But remember, we have our YouTube channel that I'm doing it live right now where you can go to 3T Fitness on YouTube. You can see my face. Click on it, and you can actually see me doing this live with the board here. So live, I guess it's recorded. It's on YouTube. But like, subscribe, check it out. We get to build a relationship. I can see you, and we can rock and roll. Just let you guys know we are literally, what, how many days? We are 14 days away from launching our online platform where you can join. You go through a 12-week body transformation, live workouts, on-demand videos, mindset coaching, you get a free copy of my book, and it's going to continue to evolve because human optimization is one of the most important things we do here at 3T Fitness, and we're going to bring this to you. It's a revolutionary program, never been done before in the world, and you're going to be able to join it live. So if you've been on my podcast for a long time, you're going to be able to coach with me personally, and there's going to be advanced programs where you can do some more coaching with Coach JV if you want a more personal touch to your coaching. But imagine going on a platform where you can go through all the things that I talk about in my podcast, and you can go step by step through the program, constant mindset coaching and get your mind right before you take flight. Let's see what else is going on. Today is Fired Up Friday. Remember, the second most important day of the week because Monday, everybody's sleepy, everybody's tired, they're bitching and complaining. Fridays, that's when you can separate yourself because you're productive. And on Fridays, at 12 o'clock today, everybody's going to let their foot off the gas because they're going to get ready for happy hour. They're going to get ready for the weekends. But I want to let you know, happy hour and the weekends are still going to be there. Hit the pedal to the metal, be productive, and you don't have to compete against anybody else. You just cooperate, be the best human being you can be, and you kick everybody's butt. That's all you got to do. Uh, if it's your first time on the podcast, I want to say welcome to JV Impacts Podcast. If you sent this podcast, somebody else want to say thank you for helping us fill our mission. I just dropped my pen and impacting lives every single day. <laughs> this is live, ready to rock and roll. All right, today you came here to get inspired. You came here to get motivated. And today I'm going to tell you three things, three things that you can do to get promoted. I know you're listening to this because you want to get promoted, don't you? Well, You say you want to get promoted, but are you willing to put in the work? I want you to answer that question right now. I'm going to pause for a moment. Are you willing to put in the work? Oh, you say yes, Coach JV? All right, let's break it down. Let's go through the three things you can do to almost guarantee to get promoted if you're in the right company. All right, so check this out. So three things. Number one, number one thing you can do to get promoted, do more than asked of you. You know how many people are going to be able to do this? Probably hardly any. Because most people don't want to do the more than's asked. There's a, that's not in my job description. I used to hear that all the time when I was in corporate America. It used to make my skin crawl. That's not in my job description. What the heck does that mean? Because there's trash on the floor, that's not in your job description. You're not going to pick it up. Because there's dust on the counter, we have janitors, and that's not in your uh, job description. You're not going to dust the, dust the counters. Come on. Who wants to promote someone like that? Do more than that, than, than, than is asked, excuse me. Do more than is asked. Here's the beauty behind that. When you do more than is asked, you become more valuable as a team member or employee or a entrepreneur. When you're doing more for your customers than you're asked, do you think your value goes up? Do you think when you raise your prices, they're gonna question you? Do you think when you go for a raise, you're gonna be questioned because you do more than is asked? Because you come in early when they ask you to? When there's a volunteer event, you're there? When you see trash on the floor, you pick it up? You don't think people are watching you? You don't think people are watching you? They are. Even if you're an entrepreneur, do more than it's asked of your customers. Blow their mind by customer service. I just wrote out 100 handwritten cards that I sent to all my clients. Handwritten, signed cards, just to say I appreciate you. Yeah, maybe I wrote the same message, Happy New Year, things like that, but I took the time to think about every single client and wrote handwritten cards, not typed, handwritten cards and sent them out to all the clients. Every single client that comes here to the 3T Fitness Center. Took me a while. My mom helped me stamp them and envelope them or write them on like the address. But I did more than was asked. They didn't ask me to do that. It's something I wanted to do because I appreciate them so much. And yeah, maybe I didn't write a personal message in every single one of them. But damn well, I made the effort to make sure that they know that I appreciate them. I want them to have a happy new year. I'm not telling you that to brag. These are things that you can do to move yourself forward. Number two, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Nobody cares about you complaining. And the people that do care and the people that will listen to you, 
<laughs> Those are the people that are not going to help you move forward. I promise you. The people that are listening to you and the people that are picking up the phone and allowing you to complain are not the people that are going to promote you. They're not the people that are going to pay your mortgage. Definitely not the people that are going to help you move forward in your life. The people that you're complaining to are doing the same exact thing. And the people that you're complaining to aren't getting the promotions. The people that you're complaining to aren't running successful companies because who am I going to complain to? I took the responsibility to run this company, so I don't complain to anybody but myself. I look in the mirror, and I take responsibility, and I want you to do the same thing. So number one, you need to do more than it's asked of you. It's that simple. Sweep the floor, pick up trash, clean the bathroom if it's dirty, do more tasks than it's asked. Maybe do a task before you have to be asked. How amazing is that? When I was an executive, I would see people doing stuff like that. I loved people when we go to a community event, and they were just jumping into that leadership role. I didn't see it as stepping on my toes. I'm like, this person's a leader. They're doing more than it's asked, and those are the people that I want to promote. The person I saw when I walked in, and we're walking into their uh, location, and they see a piece of trash, and they pick it up, that's doing more than it's asked. They don't sit back and say, oh, there's a janitor that does that. They're not beneath that position. They do what they can to make their business as proper as possible, so as many customers as possible will love their business. They do more than it's asked. Number three, run it like you own it, baby. Run it like you own it. That is so critical. That's what I look for in the 3T Fitness staff. Run it like you own it. I tell them, run it like you own it. This is your company too. Come up with processes. Challenge me. Credibly challenge me. Go ahead. That's fine. Run it like you own it. Would you rather have somebody, I got in trouble in saying this corporate America, would you rather have a stallion or a pony? Let me break down the mentality. If you're in a business, would you rather have a pony that's nice, easy to deal with. When you give them a level four review, they don't complain. When you give them their quarter raise, they don't complain. You give them their three cent raise, like, oh, okay, thank you so much. That's a pony. Very easy to manage. But they don't do more than sass. They complain all the time. Or would you rather have a stallion? Would you rather have a stallion that literally works their butt off, that never complains? When other people are complaining, they're grinding. But damn, they run it like they own it, and they make you super, super uncomfortable. They literally make you feel so uncomfortable, they may take your job. That's the kind of people you want. So I want you to ask yourself, are you a stallion or a pony? I actually got in trouble bringing that up and saying that in an interview one time because it's not corporate, right? But I, I think of that. Do I want a stallion working on my 3T Fitness team or a pony that I have to whip every single Come on. Can you make your dials? Can you reach out to those customers? Do you want a stallion that's like, Coach JV, I want to run one of these facilities today, and guess what? I could be a better CEO than you. I would love that. I would love that because guess what? I'm the CEO, and I would love them to be a CEO of their own 3T Fitness someday. That would be amazing. And guess what? When we're both CEOs, we can help 10 times more people. There's so much abundance in this world, 378 something million people in just the United States. If I got those numbers right, it's a lot of people. There's a million for me, a million for you. I live in abundance, and I would love someone to run it like they own it. Because guess what? When you're running it like you own it, you take so much pressure off your boss. You take so much pressure off the business. You will end up owning it someday. So let's break it down really quickly. Do more than it's ask. And this is in a relationship too. Stop complaining, nobody cares, and the people that care can't help you. And number three, run it like you own it, baby. That is your branch, that's your store, that's your gym, that is your relationship, run it like you own it. These three things, if you do, I promise you, you're gonna start getting promoted. And if you don't, you need to find another company that appreciates these three things, these three things in a team member. I appreciate you guys so much. My name is Coach Shavy. I'm the top health and mindset coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. I love you very, very much, but damn well, don't let me love you more than you love yourself. I'll talk to you on Motivation Monday already. Woo! Have a great weekend, everybody.